Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dad and welcome back for yet another video. In today's episode, it's something that I wanted to make for a little bit and I figured why not make it today. It's what's in my camera bag 2024 edition. Let's get rolling. The first thing within my bag is my camera. This is the camera I use for pretty much everything. It's my workhorse, it's a beast. It shoots amazing photos, incredible dynamic range, incredible ISO, and the autofocus is stunning. It's absolutely blazing fast that it never misses a shot. And the video quality is amazing. I've already done a video about this camera, so I'll link it down below. Um, you should give it a watch, it's an absolutely incredible camera. It is expensive, but it has replaced my 1DX, which I've been using for the longest time. And I absolutely adore this camera, but this one is better, yes. I am waiting for the R1 though. Attached to my camera is the 50mm RF, which is nowadays glued on to my camera. I use it every single day and I absolutely love it. What else is in my bag? I carry in total three lenses almost every single time I go out to shoot. And it does change between shoots, but for the most part I do carry a 35mm a 50mm and an 85mm. Sometimes I swap the 85 for a 100mm macro, sometimes I don't bring a 50, sometimes I I don't need a 35 and I will take something a little wider like the 24 that I'm using right now to film this video. And yeah, that's just heads up, so just so you know. This is not all of my gear, but in this video I've chosen the stuff that I use the most nowadays. I'm carrying the RS 50mm f1.2 lens which is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. It is glued on to my camera body and it works amazingly well. The autofocus is snappy and the photos are amazing. Other than that I carry a 35mm f1.4 L. I've just done a video about it. An absolutely amazing piece of glass and you should give that video a watch if you didn't already watch it. It's the lens that I use for video. I think in the, ma the majority of the time it is my favorite lens for videos and I do like the photos that it gives. The portraits look amazing and I do feel like this lens deserves a place in my bag. It's a little old nowadays but the image is still stunning. My absolutely favorite lens of all time is the 85mm f1.4 L with image stabilization. It's absolutely gorgeous and I use it a lot, like a ton. I use it probably too much but it is an amazing lens it's very sharp it lacks chromatic aberration which is amazing for an 85 mil and the way the background renders and the subjects oh god it is an amazing lens and i i just don't know how to recommend it enough another thing i carry inside my bag is another little camera it's a dji osmo pocket 3 it's with the microphone attached to it, the mic 2 from DJI, it's an amazing little package. It really does produce some nice videos for its size and it even rivals some of the more expensive cameras I've used. So I do carry it around for videos, it's really nice. I don't really care if I use it or not because it doesn't take any space in the bag and it doesn't weigh in anything. Another thing in the bag is a little rocket blower for dust it's a must have if you use any camera equipment and they do have just another something special in the bag it's something you can't probably get in the store right now because it's sold out everywhere and that little thing is a camera it's the fuji x106 it's absolutely amazing i've used it for my latest trip to japan and 
It's a great camera. I don't believe the hype is deserved for this camera, but it is still a great camera. And if you can get your lens on one, you should probably get one. It's very fun to use and the images are really good as well. Not rivaling my R3, but still very good for the size and very, very fun experience at the end of the day. I carry a couple more knickknacks in the bag, like an extra battery for the R3, which I rarely use because the R3 battery is just amazing. And I do carry an extra battery for the X100 because it needs it. It absolutely needs it. This thing eats through batteries like I've gone, gone on a shoot in about one hour with 200 images on the card, the battery died. So yeah, you need another battery if you want to use this camera. Another thing which is in my bag is a battery, battery pack, an external battery pack. It's from Anker. It has a little screen. It shows you how much wattage some devices take. It's really nice. And of course I do carry a laptop not every day, mind you, but I do carry a laptop with me in the bag when I need it. And my laptop of choice is a 16-inch MacBook Pro. It's not the latest generation, even it's the M1 Max. It's very well specced. I love this machine. Didn't fail me yet. And yeah, I don't have any reason to upgrade it. It works really nicely with DaVinci Resolve and with Lightroom and Photoshop. Everything works incredibly well, even with the C70 files or the R3 uh, 6K RAW, so no problems at all. I do have a couple more knickknacks, like two SSDs at all time, one for photos, one for videos, and I do backup inside the MacBook as well, because they have a larger SSD inside. And yeah, that's it, probably. Okay guys, so this is it. This is what's in my camera bag. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was entertaining to you because I like watching what's in my camera bag videos on YouTube. So this is why I made this one as well. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, press that like button twice and Subscribe if you didn't already because it helps me a lot and motivates me to keep going and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye